Bishop Brian, I cannot express enough uh, how impressed I am with the job that you've done uh, with this museum. It was a gem in stages of being polished, but you have made such incredible leaps and bounds in putting the museum on the map. Well, at its heart, Joe, what museums are, are storytellers. Uh, we collect materials not only for preservation purposes, but if all you're doing is bringing items in and putting them away and ensuring that they are physically preserved, you're only doing half of the job. What's important is the, the story that you can tell around the materials that you have in your collection. And an exhibit like this, which shows items which on their own, you might not necessarily make connections between them, but when you think about this exhibit as materials that have passed through the hands of generations of people in the, in the community, this display shows uh, all of these elements that would have been in a post office between the middle 19th and the early 20th century. And museums collect artifacts, be they stamps, you know, postal history materials, vehicles, I mean, you name it. It doesn't really matter what's collected, it's what you do with those items that gives them their value. These materials are the physical remnants of generations past. The people who use them are no longer around to tell the stories about how they lived, how these pieces were used, and it's up to museums, historical societies, and other cultural entities to ensure that those stories remain because those stories contained in these artifacts are what underwrites our culture today. So it, that's, it defines who we are as a civilization. It, and they, they, they truly do. Stamps and postal history exist in the context of a much larger story. We're able to, to bring some of these poignant reminders of generations past to the public, and even though our focus is solely on philately, it doesn't mean that somebody who's not necessarily interested in, in stamps won't find something of value here. Uh, a great example, this German helmet from the First World War. Uh, a U.S. soldier from the Cape, um, he mailed it back to his family when he was overseas. He just put stamps and painted his, his home address on the helmet itself, and it made it back. Uh, tragically, he lost his life uh, in, in combat in France during the First World War, and this was one of the remnants that his family, they were able to keep that reminded them of his time on Earth. And it's an honor for the Spelman Museum to have materials like this to tell those kinds of stories, and uh, not only to instruct our visitors about uh, postal history, but about the First World War and how people communicated at that time. You know, without something like that and without a venue like the Spelman Museum to tell that story, this is something that would be lost to generations. But instead, we have the opportunity to preserve that and to perpetuate an appreciation for past generations. Just about everything that we have at the museum has been donated to us by people who, through one way or another, have heard about the Spelman Museum. And not only are they familiar with the museum, but they also have an interest in ensuring that those stories through their artifacts are preserved. We take in many donations a week. The vast majority of them, of course, as you, as you know, are, are stamps and, uh, and covers and other postal history type materials, but occasionally we will get three-dimensional artifacts as well. They all go into helping us tell the story about stamps, postal history, why the museum exists in the first place, and it's really about reflecting the human experience. Yeah. So uh, in terms of value, uh, that's what the museum does. Uh, we uh, have uh, our, our programs and we have our exhibits to, to try and reach the general public. Uh, not everybody has to be a, a collector to get a valuable experience out of interacting with the museum. The museum also has a first-rate store that includes materials such as collecting supplies, mystery boxes, surplus stamps, packets, individual stamps, plate blocks, and full sheets that are available to interested collectors and any visitor who comes through our doors. We are also in the process of developing an online presence where we'll be selling books, puzzles, 
and other materials all in the interest of promoting the museum and the hobby of philately. This museum also is, is interesting. This is the uh, third museum that I have run. Uh, I have not run an organization before though that has had such a strong emphasis on relationship with uh, our, our vendors to, uh, to help process materials that have come through our door but haven't been accepted for our permanent collections. We're standing in our main gallery and you see examples of our, our permanent holdings all around. But that's just a very small percentage of what actually comes in here. And the uh, value that we're able to get through partnerships with, uh, with Noble Spirit, for example, is that we can offer to the public uh, these, these services, people that, that might not uh, know what to do with their father's or their uncle's stamp collection once the collector uh, himself or herself has passed. We have an opportunity to link up people with those collections with organizations like yours. Uh, and that's a tremendous value and it provides comfort to people as well. Uh, not only is it an opportunity to, to help monetize uh, materials and to help you out and to help the museum out, but it also provides a tremendous amount of comfort to, um, uh, to families of, yes, of the departed. Right. And I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to have that partnership uh, because as a, a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, uh, the Spelman Museum itself cannot do tax binding appraisals. However, uh, we do offer evaluation services, but when somebody comes in and needs that appraisal, we know that we have Noble Spirit as a partner who can come in and not only help the museum, but also, again, directly help the donor or the collector or the collector's family to help them move forward with uh, the materials that have been, been left to them. So having that communication is of tremendous value uh, to, uh, to the museum, and I'm, I'm pleased to, to be able to offer that to the public through this partnership. Well, we're, we're honored to be your liquidity solution and your liquidity partner. It's, it, it's all about community outreach, you know, getting people who uh, aren't necessarily interested in stamps or postal history to recognize that there's value here and that there's something that we can bring to the community, not only to uh, uh, philatelists around the world, but also to anybody who lives in or passes through this, this region in New England. It's a very exciting place to come to. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, anybody who's in the area is not gonna, is not gonna regret time spent here, and they're gonna come in here and they're gonna see something, and it'll be worthwhile. At the end of the day, Joe, it's it's all about the stories that we can tell. Yeah, that's that's what matters. So, all right, well, Brian. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Mm -hmm.